All right, Moses, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. How you doing, people? This time around, I'm going to show you guys how to work the chest muscle using push-ups, all right? So I'm going to show you a quick little trick that's going to just engage your chest, your pectoral muscles to do all the work while you're doing your push-ups, all right? I'm going to show you guys a regular way, and then I'm going to show you guys the way I do it, all right? It's going to force me to get maximum contraction and my pectoral muscles, which is what? My chest. Mm. All, right. All right. So I'm going to show you how the regular way. I'm going to face this way so the camera can see. All right. I'm going to face on an angle like this. All right. So this is the regular way. Most people do push ups. They butt down, they go down, and they come up. You see how my chest is not getting activated? Now I'm going to show you guys my way. Watch this. Simple move is this. Squeeze my butt tight the whole time. Tight. Now watch me. Watch the difference. Butt tight. My chest is pushing the movement. If you watch closely, you see my chest firing. Why? When I lock my squeeze my butt tight right it forces my body to stay rigid but when my body is stay rigid i'm not leaking energy so it forces me to only use my chest to push doing the push-up not this relax when you relax you leak leaking energy when you leak energy all your other muscle groups start compensating and help you push up we don't want to do that we don't want to compensate when you do that get compensation right when you lock it in see the difference but tight chest 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 everything see it's all about activating the proper muscle group you want to fire and contract your chest as hard as possible what do, how do we do that by aligning our body properly all right so this is a routine I normally do I'll do 10 push-ups here and I'll do 10 push-ups on the bench, decline. When we hit decline, it activates more of the upper pectoral. So from right here to right there. Uh, also, our shoulders is engaged because it helps stabilize the whole movement. So I'm gonna show you guys. The principles do not change, you gotta lock. If you lock in, you're not leaking energy. The only thing that's gonna be firing is your chest. Same thing on the bench. I'm gonna demonstrate what most people do, they get on the bench, their, whole, their body is relaxed, and they doing the push-ups, right? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna squeeze my butt tight. Once I squeeze it tight, my body is rigid. Push, 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 push. My chest is doing all the work. So a simple, quick routine that you guys could do is this. I have a 10 meter space. I start on the floor, 10 push-ups. I'll do 10 push-ups. I'll walk over, I'll do 10. Then I'll do nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, all the way down to one. By the end of that routine, you would have completed 110 push-ups. And trust and better believe me, your chest is gonna be firing like it never did before. Yeah. All right, Moses, man. Thanks for that information, man. Yes, yes. All brother. right. Make sure y'all follow my man. If y'all want some training, Motivation by Moses. Yes, yes. Links will be in the description box. Y'all see the chest muscles, man. It's got noses stuff, man. All right. Once again, thanks a lot, Moses. No More problem, to come brother. soon from the brother, man. All I appreciate, right. I appreciate you for letting me come out once again to show the people what I normally do for my pectoral muscles. Hope to see you guys in the comment. All right, man. That was good. That was good.